Welcome back to the channel. Dane Scott from Dane Scott's Trucker's Lounge. Recently had to take a little uh, road trip, as we do here on occasion. And uh, the reason was that uh, my good friend, Braden Tucker, from Dying Breed Diesels, and you guys know the Facebook page, huge, huge page. If you aren't on the page, make sure you uh, subscribe because uh, it's a great page for all kinds of information and I think there's like 160, 70, 80,000 people on there. I mean, it's a lot. So it's a killer page. So check it out. So anyways, my good buddy Braden gave me a call and says, Hey, I got your emblems for the heavy Chevy. Just happened to be that he rescued a uh, hood. Now it's the high hood uh, because there's a, a low hood and a high hood. I've got the low hood. The high hood was for the uh, 8V71. And uh, you can tell a high hood because the fenders back right there come down a little bit further. So the hood has to set higher. So that's how you know the difference. But he had this high hood sitting around for quite a while. And the emblems on it are awesome. And I need them for the heavy Chevy. So he said, come on down and get it. So that's what we did. And, uh, of course, we had to check out some killer old school trucks in the process. And two of them are extremely killer and I'm going to share them with you. Now you guys probably saw the uh, title page so it kind of gives it away but uh, that's all I'll talk about right now. We'll come back and we'll see some old school GMC trucks. And don't forget, mark your calendars, June 3rd this year, 2023, is the first annual GMC Jamboree right here in the Trucker's Lounge country, Conneaut, Ohio. Here's the flyer, and I hope you plan on being here because it's going to be a good time for all you old school truck lovers. Sky in a sunset scene through the window of a GMC. White lines and lighted signs got me hypnotized. There's nothing like the feel of the road and the smell of the diesel smoke. Another 10 or 20 miles, I'll be burning. This thing. So let's get this show on the road, shall we? This is killer. Look at these old Fords. Looks like we got us a Cummins. Thank you. 
bad boy is still here. Trying to talk Braden into bringing this up to the show. The GMC Jamboree. Because it's killer. This was his dad's truck. It's always a treat. Come down here to Lisbon to Tucker Equipment, West Point Auto Sales, and see all the vintage iron. We are going to see some killer trucks right here. You know, they don't call me the Cracker Box Hunter for nothing. Here we go. smile on my face. Cracker box heaven. Yes, sir. This is crazy. Can you see this?
Oh man, I can picture this sitting in front of the trucker's lounge. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's spoken for. This bad boy is spoken for. seen or heard tell of that. It's got a stoplight switch on it. Got a double check valve. That is the main brake distribution valve. Okay. On the 54, on mine, it's up, it's up, it's underneath the frame rail on the inside of a cross member. And when I got to working on that truck, that's, that's aluminum. Mm-hmm. And it just disintegrated. And I thought, where will I ever find one of those ever? And of course, this is back before the internet. Mm -hmm. Long story, but I stumbled onto a guy in Oregon that had an old six, well, 630 that had been a log truck. I don't know how, I can't remember how I got a hold of him. How County truck. Man, look at the front end on that. Whew. There's some weight up there. Yeah. I like that grill. <laughs> You'd like to drive that when the power sharing goes up. Right. So here we are at a top secret location, Area 51, bringing home 
a killer hood for the 9500. It's got awesome emblems on it. Very nice condition. Thanks for watching. Keep the hammer down, safe and sound.